And it's quite a simple, basic, simple, honest to God motion that ordinary people will resonate, Minister. And no disrespect to your own uh, script that you read out, or Minister Smith's script. And of course, as usual, Minister Ryan is not here. Where is he? He's at COP in Egypt. 400 jets flew in there, and private jets. And you have the audacity to tell people to pull up their belts. I remember the late Charles Hahi telling people with the Sharpie shirts to tighten their belts. It's just since the day of vu, we're here again. But this time people are crippled and they're on their knees and they're begging, they're on life support. Life support. And Deputy Smith is gone, but I was delighted to see her so welcoming of our motion. And um, we're common sense people. And we're not climate deniers, but we are well, all the, the issues that uh, Deputy Smith and others seem to have with us is that we want to keep the lights on here in the interim. Or we have all the wind that's blown. But, uh, but at the risk of repeating ourselves and what Deputy Dunham said at, at, the, at the outset, like uh, Whittaker, uh, TK Whittaker, the rest of them, and the forefathers of this country, and the visionaries, they have such a passion and a view. And I'm not uh, an idealist as regards having, uh, having a system nationalised. But we may have to nationalise the power companies because they're not playing ball. And I'm glad to see whether this is a result of our pressure or emotion that um, electricity, um, is, is it, um, they want to be wrong on them, SSE Electricity have announced today that they would forego our profits for the rest of the year. So that's what we need. We need more stick and less of the cardiology. And we need no more crop on instead of crop summits.